Good morning, guys. It is a beautiful morning. There is not a cloud in the sky. And I am walking to my sister's house right now. She asked me, ooh, she asked me to come help her paint something in her house. So I'm headed over here to help her paint and do whatever else she needs me to help her do because she's been doing a lot of work in her house. So I just decided to walk over here because it's such a pretty day and I needed some cardio anyway. So why not walk over here and get this little cardio going, get my heart pumping and blood circulation, blood circulating. Y'all know what I'm trying to say. So Steven is still at the house because he had a call he had to take and um, usually when I walk over here, he's with me and our puppy is with us too. It's not hot. It's not cold, but it's not hot. Like we're really reaching like that point where you can feel the nip in the air. You know, you get up in the morning time and it's really cold. And then by like 12 o'clock, you are about to pass out because you wore a sweater. Sorry about the lighting. I am walking and now I'm on a whole different street. So I guess I'll catch up with you guys after I leave my sister's house because I'm pretty much here now. <laughs> hey guys, I'm out and about. I just bought a few groceries, very few. Um, like so few that I'm not even gonna designate a grocery haul for y'all because it's really no point and I know some of you were talking about me filming and driving at the same time I'm not driving Steven is with me <laughs> and uh, he said I tricked him into coming yes you did um, if y'all hear the wind blowing or whatever we're getting on the interstate going back home and uh, yeah it's a pretty day the windows are down very very pretty day so I just wanted to check in and say hey when I get home, I'll show you guys the few things that we got. Here is literally every food item that I bought today. I got some romaine lettuce. I grabbed a cucumber, got two lemons, and these are actually what I use to exfoliate my face. I also got some thin spaghetti, my staple. I always get thin spaghetti. We picked up some fudge stripes, shortbread cookies, me and Steven both have kind of had a sweet tooth here lately, so I got some sweet stuff. I got these fudge shortbread cookies. I also got these almond windmill cookies, and I got a half gallon of the pecan pralines and cream. This is by um, Bluebell, and my mom told me that this is a new flavor, so I got that. Got some Thousand Island dressing. Got the tomato basil spaghetti sauce that I always get. We also picked up some bananas. Got two sodas. We got this mountain. This is by Stars and Stripes from Dollar Tree. We also got a cola by the Stars and Stripes brand. Got a thing of the ramen noodles. And I got this apple cider. This is by Old Orchard. I found this at Dollar Tree. I'm really excited to um, try this because apple cider is just so fall. And I wanted to get that to drink warm. And so this is everything that I got in this very small grocery haul. And I hope you guys enjoy. Please leave any questions or comments down below. And I'm pretty sure this stuff costs no more than $15. Good afternoon guys it is friday and i am not a good vlogger because i haven't really picked up the camera at all most of the week and i'm not doing anything right now i just picked up the camera to say hi to y'all and um yeah so not doing anything i'm trying to get my life together because i'm tired Oh, let me tell y'all, my night went a little like this. Why nobody told me that being Mary Jane was so good? Nobody told me that. Y'all not looking out for me. I didn't get no IMs, no comments, 
nothing nobody told me about being Mary Jane. So last night, I started watching Being Mary Jane and I sat up until like four o'clock this morning watching Being Mary Jane. I watched all of the first season and like half of the second season. And then I was like, all right, Teresa, y'all know how you have to call yourself by your full name. I was like, all right, Teresa, you got to go to bed, girl. So it is probably about one o'clock. I didn't get up until like 11 and then babe fixed me some coffee because I was still really just not having, I was just not trying to adult today. I was not trying to be grown today. So he fixed me some coffee and there it is over there. And um, so I've been trying to get a little work done. I actually put some clothes on and took my braid down which is not an everyday occurrence, but I'm trying to do better. And I'm not doing anything today at all. But I did want to come on and say, hey. So, hey. <laughs> I feel like I don't have a lot of footage for this vlog this week. So, I'm just going to do an impromptu favorites video for you guys. And I'm also going to talk about one thing that... Um, I really didn't like that much. <laughs> so this is basically my lifestyle summer favorites because I did do a favorites video for the spring and I said that I was going to do these every season. So this is going to be my lifestyle favorites for the summertime. I'm just going to go and get what I didn't like out of the way because it's only one item actually. Now, these were sent to me for my review and anytime a company sends me something, they know that it is for my honest review and if I talk about it, I'm going to say whether I really liked it or I didn't like it or the pros and cons about it and um, this is what it is and this is the Always Radiant Flex Foam and these are supposed to be 100% leak free and we're all grown ups here. We know that these are pads. So this is what you use for your time of the month when Aunt Flo rears her ugly little head and shows up, messes up all your plans. We know how it is, ladies. This is what it's for. And these pads come packaged like this. And they're in this really pretty package with all the pinks and yellows and purples. And it's very vibrant, very bright. And that is one of my cons. Now, I know that some people, I don't understand why they keep putting pads and stuff in these bright packages. Now, I just don't like that. I don't know if some woman at some company said that if they put pads in a bright packet, that women would feel better when their period comes on, but that's not the case. I wish they would stop doing this. Always or Flex Fit or whatever the other companies are, if you are watching this video, please just make some that come in regular white packaging because I I can't remember what brand it was off the top of my head, but one time I had a brand and I think I was like on vacation or something and I just had to like grab one from somewhere or from the hotel or something. I don't even know what brand it was. It turned out to be a decent pad and it was just in a plain white wrapping. I wish they would just put them in plain white wrappings because when you're in public and you have to take this off and get the pad out of it and then you leave this bright paper in the trash can, everybody knows that you had your period. Can we just get some plain white wrapping on the pads so I can put it in the trash can and it blends in with the other trash? Boy, I just went off on a rant. <laughs> I went off on a rant, y'all. But really, that's something I really don't like. I wish they would just stop making the, the things so busy. I just wish they would just wrap it in paper. Now, these tops, this top right here that I'm wearing, it's just a little tank top. I got this top from Rue 21, and I love these tops. I got them in every color I could get my hand on. I got it in gray, black, white, beige, um, fuchsia, orange. I just, I went crazy with these tops because one, they are really, really soft. This is one in red. They're really soft. I love the material. 
and they were on sale i think for like three dollars each um steven had went on a business trip to st louis and I found them first in St. Louis, and then I came home and went to my local Route 21 and picked up some more. Now, this one that I'm holding here, this is regular price $9.99. But the one that I got, like I just told you guys, I bought them for $3 each. And they are really, really soft. They're kind of stretchy. They're very comfortable. I'm not sure. They're made out of polyester and spandex. And I just, I really like these. I don't know if Route 21 still has any of these maybe on their website, but I'll try to find a link for you guys if they do, and I will link that down below. But this is what has been a really comfortable top for me. I plan on to still wear these tank tops through the fall and winter because y'all know you can always layer up and put things on top of it. These are really good for transitioning, so I'm looking forward to that. And then we're moving on to like some, you know, makeup and stuff like that. I don't really have a lot of makeup that I've really been wearing a lot, but I do have two things. I think I've talked about this before, and it's the Buxom. This is my favorite mascara, and this is the Black is Black by Buxom. I'm wearing it today. I really love how this just kind of takes my eyelashes to another level, and it still keeps them really natural looking. So this has been my favorite mascara. And then my favorite matte lipstick to wear is this one. This is Kat Von D. I believe this is Lolita. Yeah, this is Lolita by Kat Von D. And this has been my favorite go-to matte lipstick. We all know that matte lipsticks are really in now. And I've had this lipstick for a very long time. I have not purchased any new lipsticks, any new makeup. I've actually been on a non-buy for makeup and I've been going through my stuff and I found this one fell in love with it all over again this lipstick is non drying on the lips but it goes on really matte so like you can just put it on and it doesn't really have any shine to it and then when it dries all the way down it just kind of gives like a really natural look to my face I think this look, this um, lipstick does look different for everybody, but for my face, it gives like a really natural look and I like that. <laughs> and the last thing that has been a favorite for mine, oh, I lied, it's not the last thing, it's next to the last thing, that has been a favorite of mine throughout the summertime and it really, I think I've been using this case for maybe like a year, but it's this phone case right here and it has this owl on it and I thought that it was really cute. I don't really switch out my phone cases at all really and I've been using this one for a really long time. It's probably time for me to order some more. I got this one from eBay and they came in a pack of three for I think $2.99. And now the last thing that I've really been using a lot is this water bottle here which does not have water in it it has tea in it <laughs> but this is a water bottle that you can kind of take this out put fruits inside of that green thing you can put ice inside of that and fill it up with whatever you want to drink with water or tea or juice you know lemonade whatever and what i also love about this is it has this little nozzle there that works well when you're drinking stuff because if you pull it all the way down more liquid comes out but then if you push it up it's like less liquid and you can kind of just suck it straight out and i really like that too i found this at goodwill believe it or not and um they had two of them they had a green one and a blue one steven uses the blue one and i use the green one so it's really been working out and i didn't even notice this when i bought it but the front of it actually says touching lives for jesus and i was like look at God. <laughs> like I was meant to have this water bottle. <laughs> so yeah. And that's everything guys. Those are all of my favorites for the summertime. I know I didn't have a lot of stuff. I guess I've just been really switching things up through the summertime. I haven't been using a lot of stuff repeatedly, but the things that I have been using repeatedly, I did share with y'all. So I hope you enjoyed.